Hello and welcome back to Just an Opinion Re Movie Review. I'm your host, Aaron Knight, and uh, we're doing The Resort. So, The Resort starts off... Oh, by, by the way, there will be spoilers. Uh, the Resort starts off with uh, two security, gu uh, security guard at this one abandoned um, resort. And he's walking around, he sees like a, a, um, a glass bottle... Uh, a glass alcohol bottle and he's kind of like ah is somebody here and then uh he heads more into the the abandoned resort and he finds the other security guard and then they are uh, the, the one security guard scares him you know it's a, like a prank and then um the security guard gets uh one of them like sees something and then they get dragged away then we we go to um somebody in a hospital bed uh, you know, going in and out of, um, uh, like they're waking up and going back to sleep and waking up, you know, that type of thing. And, uh, we find out, we find it's our main character, Lex, who, um, um, is explained to a detective, because the detective was like, hey, uh, we need to find your friends, you know. Um, if friends are still alive, we need to we need to find them. And she's like, "Oh no, they're dead. I saw them die." And uh, he's like, uh, "Okay." So and like, and he's like, "All right, well, let's let's find out what let's find out what happened." So we get a recap of um, it's um, the night of Lex's birthday. Her friends Chris, Bree, and Sam throw us a surprise uh, birthday party, and they say, "Hey, we're going to Hawaii." And also, there's an island off of, um, well, she already, she already knows this. She's like a, she does like, she's a, um, works for a website or something like that. And she's trying to get a story. And they go, oh, yeah, that story you've been wanting, uh, we can, we can get there. Or we got a, uh, trip, trip to go there. So, uh, they go to Hawaii and, uh, well, they talk about, they talk about um, uh, Sam. Sam's a non-believer of ghosts, and this this resort that's abandoned supposedly has a ghost. It has a lady who's walking around. Um, it has um, she was she was raped and killed, and so she wanders the island trying to find out who raped and killed her. And so whoever she finds, she then you know kills them, and then they walk for eternity with her. And so Sam's like a non-believer. Chris is like, yeah, you know, I I believe, and then like Bree's like, you know, Bree's is Bree's the Instagram model basically. Um, so they go to Hawaii, they uh, get a plane or not plane, they get a helicopter ride over to this abandoned resort right off the the shore of Hawaii, and the helicopter guy goes, yeah, this is a one way ticket, and they're like, wait, what? And like, yeah, if you want to get off this island, there's only one way to get off it. There's a boat leaving at seven o'clock and I think it's like they have six hours or something like that and so they're like okay yeah so they're like hey the helicopter goes like hey just make sure you stay on the path they don't go off the path you know so they walk through the forest um, and they end up finding the resort and so they go in there and then Sam's at the time Sam's like you know he's been drinking a lot of alcohol so he's kind of you know he's kind of like drunk and he starts breaking some of the windows in the the resort <clears throat> and then the other three are kind of like, hey, what the fuck, dude? You know, just because, you know, it's abandoned doesn't mean you can just go around destroying shit. So I'm just like, yeah, whatever, you know. And so uh, they go to this room that is supposedly haunted, but nothing happens. Uh, Lex puts her bag down and just like take a picture. And then uh, a bunch of birds and, and stuff um, start swarming over the, the, um, uh, the, res uh, the, re the resort and so they go out and they're like okay it's uh you know it's getting dark we need to get back it's like 5 45 and Lex is like oh no we, we can stay a few more minutes and it's like at this point I'm kind of like uh you guys don't even know where the the boat is and they can't even find the way out you know because the, they they entered through a gate off the path to get in and they're like, oh, I think we entered this way. And they're like, no, this way. You know, we came this way. And it was, it was a really dumb scene. Because, like, none of them were helping each other. Trying to figure out how to get out of this this um, the resort. So they start hearing um, 
Oh no, this is where Lux is like, oh hey, yeah, I forgot my bag, and then they find a, uh, they go back in, and because it has her phone and um, a couple other things in the bag, and because I think I think Chris is the boyfriend of Lex, and he's like, oh, we'll just get a new phone. You get it all backed up, right? You know, in the cloud, and um, Lex is like, no, I need my I need my stuff. So they go back in, and they find a dead coyote. That was trying to get out of the uh, out of the window, and so this is when um, you know stuff starts to go south, and um, they they find the secu- they find a security truck, and they're like, oh no, we can't be fu- we can't be uh, found here, we, otherwise we'd be in trouble. Now we should have been found there, otherwise they would have been safe. But this is also um, the what I t- said earlier about the security guards. This is, takes place during the time of this, so. Um, they end up breaking into the car or against the car and uh Bree gets in it and then the, the, all the things all the doors lock and then the the car goes just by itself floors it and falls off a, uh, off of um so i think where the on the resort there's like four stories and so they're on the they're on like the ground level or something like that and so there's like two stories below them so they're like on the third floor and the uh, the car drives off, and uh, Brian Brian ends up, uh, ends up dying. And there's a kind of like a oh, there's no way she survived. And you know, Chris goes down there to look, and Chris was like, doesn't even like check the pulse of her or anything. He's like, ah, she's dead. <laughs> so they go up, and then uh, they see like this figure in the in the background start to form. They're like, oh crap! And, and they run, and then the the figure ends up. Um, trapping. There's a couple. There's a couple chase scenes without being a chase scene, where they just like they see if they see a person, they run, they stop, they talk, then they just kind of walk off. Like oh, they, you know, we're in a dark, we're in a dark room, and we're just gonna have our lights flashing. Like there's no way they're gonna find us, you know. And then the, the figure finds them again. And they run, and they stop, and they have another talk scene or whatever. And so uh, Sam's, uh, Sam ends up getting caught by the. The, the the girl and um, she ends up possessing him and so he starts to start, starts to attack both Chris and, and Lex and then um, he Sam knocks Chris to the ground and almost kills almost kills Chris but lucky for for Lex there's a scissors and she stabs Sam in the the artery in the in the neck and then um, uh, they end up finding an elevator that support, somehow works, but you know the power is dead at the, at this time. And then Chris goes out there and says, "Sam, you know we can we can sit, you know we can save you and whatnot." Oh, and I forgot to mention that the 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 um, the, the the girl end up ripping ripping Sam's face skin off his face, so all he is is just a, um, a skeleton in, in the head. And you know, Chris is like, "Oh, we, you, know, we can help you, man. We can help you." And it's like, "There's no way of helping this dude. This dude dead. He got stabbed in the neck, and his face is ripped." And so uh, Sam knocks him over, and then uh, um, curb stomps uh, Chris's head, and so Chris dies. And um, all of a sudden, the elevator starts to work. You know, this is this this place has been abandoned for like I don't know how many years. So Lux goes up. Um, then she sees the dead body of Bree, and then Bree lights her on fire. Well, she doesn't light her on fire. She lights a match. She throws the match down. Everything turns white. And then we're back in the scene where the detective is interviewing uh, Lex. And she's like, oh, yeah, well, my friends are dead. And so they're like, all right, well, we'll, we'll send a helicopter to to um, the island to go find your friends. And she ends up taking a picture of the the uh detective lux does and he ends up being he's like possessed or something like that and she runs out and then the whole hospital is uh basically she's she's dead or something like that i don't know and the movie ends so i'm just like uh okay that's that's an interesting movie but um yeah so uh my my thoughts on it my my opinions on it is it's not a good movie um there's all I believe all death scenes besides Sam. Well, no, Sam and Chris are both on, but uh, um, Bree when she goes off 
off the um, when she drives off the 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 building or whatever, they don't show it. They they wait like I, probably at least a good three minutes before they even like go down there, and they're like, oh, there's no way she survived that. And then you know Chris goes down and sees her, and all he does is he stands there and he just looks at her and like, nope, nope, she's dead. You know, so. You don't, you don't really get to see that scene, which is, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's kind of a low-budget movie, so I, I get why they didn't show that. But um, the the scene with the scene with um, Sam's face being ripped is is pretty cool. Um, and even and so it was um, you know Chris's head being smashed because I mean they 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 smashed they had like a like a like a watermelon or something, he just like stomped down. Um, but uh, the Chris, Bree, and Lex aren't 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 too bad to carry. Sam was kind of like, annoying, you know. He just was like, oh, "I don't believe in ghosts," and he's like, "That's fine, you know. You don't have to believe in ghosts or whatever." And um, you know, and, and Bree was just there. She was basically the eye candy for the movie. I mean, I th I believe that she was heavily focused on the trailer when I watched the trailer. Um, and, uh, Chris, I mean, I, Chris was like, you know, was like, you know, may like, Hey, we shouldn't be doing this or, Hey, don't, don't do this. Or, you know, w you know, he was kind of the tough guy, but also the, the gentle guy as well. And, um, and Lex, um, she was fine. But she did get kind of annoying. Like the the, the part where it's like, hey, it's five forty five, the boat leaves at seven, and then the there's not another boat for like another week or something like that. So the, they also said that there, there is people on this island. It's on the other side of the island, and I'm not for sure, because um, they never they never they never find the boat, um, and they never find any other people. So I'm not quite for sure, like if if they would have been able to find something to like eat or whatever but they're like you know it's it's 5 45 and you don't even know where the boat is to take you back and you're like oh no we we need to go back in here we can we can wait a little bit it's like i mean that pat that walk could be like an hour that walk could be 10 minutes you know so it's just like kind of like one of those decisions like oh no we got to keep you back here to you know and the ending i would say is is i kind of predicted what the ending was going to be because i'm like doesn't make sense of like why how she was found or whatever and in this hospital and but it's like also at the same time it's like why does the ghost care anyways you know you know to to ask her like what happened so as always i we always do a ranking at the end um i usually put it in the post but sometimes i forget to put it in the post so um i'll just say now and I'll, maybe i'll edit it in there a being buy on DVD, B being watch on Netflix, C being watch on TV, D being don't watch, and F being avoid at all costs. Honestly, I'd say watch this on TV. If, if, it, if it's on, um, if you're doing something, you know, it's kind of a good, like, come back in, you know, oh, what's happening here, all right, you know. Um, it doesn't, it, it tries to do something a little bit different from the norm of, um, people being killed and you know being in situations you know but it does it's all kind of boring at the same i mean i was kind of looking at my phone throughout the time i mean uh sam bless bless sam's heart or uh he, he was the only one that went naked you know he's like oh i'm gonna go skinny dipping and then he actually actually you know you see his ass a couple times and but i mean yeah, the rest of them is kind of like, yeah, we're just we're wearing our swimsuits, you know, we're not we're, we're not gonna push the bar. So I don't know if I don't know if Michael Valmus, whatever his, uh, his last name is, I don't know if he was like, yeah, I'm just I'm here for here to party. I'm gonna I'm gonna make myself stand out, you know, because he, I mean, he was the one who stepped in me. I mean, they all, for the most part, they all kind of stood out in their own, you know, you you know, unique ways. But um, yeah, so yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching.